So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I... Saw her. I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's gonna do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money. How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or... Some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family. Bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. You're a good girl. You want to work? Let's do it. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place, finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch, you were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to, uh, Marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know. I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Hey! We're cutting off the main track up here. A man's in need of post. We're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Amping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here.
Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear. Or something came through here. Hmm. The fella left in quite a hurry. Here. House, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one? Is it gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe... We didn't kill that... B Bastard. Gave him something to remember. That's by at least. John, what are you doing? Get on your horse, John. 
great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, what well, we said we was going to... <laughs> Bob, won't you? Anyway, you carry on. Huh? You don't mess around, do you? Let's go. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get them, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think he might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you can lose. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you.
How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean, yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I... I can't explain it. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but... Real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea. He was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. 
Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now, reel. I got him! <laughs> what do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. Rufus! 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 This ain't like him, Pa. Can you go search the other side of the track? I see. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down, too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Well, suck it, Dad! Well, spit it out! Get the poison out! Dad! Rufus, no! Swallow it. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. We're taking the dog home. Abigail, can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son.
Settle down, okay? Okay, Missy. Jesus, who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Not here. This one's still breathing. Oh, the bear. Hold him. Please, please let me go. Oh, what do you think? Shall we let him go? I say we kill him. Please, please. Oh, no, he's a nice kid. Let him go. <laughs> Damn it, Elias. Let him go. But take his hand first. No.
All right, girl. Here's that Skinner, brother. What's left of him? Lias Green. Well, I'll be. Didn't think I'd see this one alive or dead. Throw him back out with the rest of the trash, will you? That man weren't worth spit, but here's what we're paying for him. It was a nasty business up there. I'll take it. You don't go after these bounties, I'm gonna have to. There's another poster gonna be up right quick. Come back for it. Hello, sir. Go on, we move! You're good, Billy. Hello. Tough girl. 